Our top story at this hour, a Chinese convoy has been attacked in neighboring Pakistan. The incident took place near the Gwadar port in the Balochistan province of the country. Separatist group Balochistan Liberation Army has taken responsibility for the incident. According to our sources, one person from the entourage sustained minor injuries. A total of 23 Chinese engineers were aboard a van and three SUVs, all of which were allegedly bulletproof and part of a seven-vehicle convoy. Details reveal that an IED explosion took place, which was followed by gunfire. Two terrorists allegedly blew themselves up and three others were killed in the gunfire. Two Pakistani soldiers have reportedly been injured fending off an attack. We should also mention here that the incident comes in the backdrop of Pakistan announcing Anwar ul Haqqaqar from the Balochistan Awami Party as the country's new caretaker prime minister. The Balochistan province has witnessed a surge in terror activities over the past few years with different separatist outfits that advocate for the region's autonomy have taken responsibility for targeting projects associated with the China-Pakistan economic corridor over the last several years. For the latest, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is now joining us on the phone line. Anas, thank you so much for joining us. If you can hear me, do tell us what is the latest situation in Gwadar. We are hearing of an attack on the Chinese engineers. What more can you tell us about this? Uh, well, indeed, uh, what we know so far that the attack is now officially over. The military has just issued a statement literally minutes ago. And I, I quote the military statement. It says, on 13th of August 2023, at 1000 hours, terrorists attacked a military convoy in Gawadar. Terrorists used small arms and hand grenades during the activity. Mm -hmm. However, due to the efficient and swift response, two terrorists were killed with no harm to any military or civil persons. This is what the military statement has confirmed that there was an attack. What we heard from sources is that this was a convoy of Chinese engineers that was being guarded by the military. The Chinese engineers belong to a private construction firm. Mm -hmm. uh, there were 23 of them in three SUVs and one van. It was all bulletproof on, and bombproof. Uh, there was an IED explosion first that was followed by gunfire. All Chinese engineers are safe and accounted for. This is what Chinese officials in Pakistan have confirmed to Rion. Uh, one Chinese nation have suffered, has suffered minor concussion due to the impact of the IED because we were in the van. But broadly, there is no life threatening or any sort of an injury. Two mm -hmm. Pakistani soldiers are injured. Among them, one has taken uh, uh, bullet injuries to his hand and to the chest, whereas the other, uh, other one is minorly injured. Uh, the Baloch Liberation Army, the terror outfit, has claimed responsibility. They published two pictures. Uh, as well of the attackers, those who are said to be have been involved in this attack. Isha. Right. Thank you so much, Anas, for uh, giving us those details. Now.